everyone, so today I'm going to show you what I've put in the two hampers that I've made. I will leave last year's below so you can have like added extra inspiration but um, yeah I've done these hampers for couples so that's for a couple, that's for a couple and I did it the same last year. You can do hampers for pretty much anybody and it just puts down the cost of Christmas in general and I think it's quite thoughtful because you can really you know customise to what they like um, and this is kind of like a you know an adult basket. I wouldn't say this would be for children it's a nice treat for the couple when the kids are in bed um, both baskets are from Dunnell Mill about five pounds each again I tried to customize it to them and what goes with their house decor that sort of thing so this is kind of like a grey wicker basket with this sort of um, sort of fabric around it I just thought it was quite nice and then this one's kind of a wooden crate with the blackboard um, bottom which I've I've put um, Merry Xmas on it as well um, so yeah both of them have exactly the same and I'm going to show you what I've put in each. So the first item is a, um, a fleecy blanket. I thought it would be nice added extra. Um, it's always nice to have, you know, you, you can never have too many blankets. And this one was from Ikea. It's about three or four pounds. So reasonable and, you know, it's nice, nice added thing to add in there. Um, I've added in some M&S Thai sweet chili crunchy coated peanuts. I really love these and I thought I would add them in. We've got a couple of candy canes just to add the festiveness. Um, West Key actually had a Werther's original pop-up. So they had loads of different flavours which I've never seen before. They're all individually wrapped so I filled up a bag and I thought that would be quite a nice sort of gift. Most people like Werther's original as well, they're quite tasty. Um, I found these little games which I thought would be nice added extra after dinner famous seconds games um, These were from Robert Dias. They were two pounds 49. I actually got a different one over here um, But yeah, just a bit of fun really, you know something you can use Forever not necessarily just for after Christmas or one evening, but I think I thought it'd be you know an interesting just to add that in um, I added in a Ashley salted buttered fudge. This was actually from the pound store. They do have quite a lot of Ashley's stuff in general in the pound store. So I added a bit of bubbly. They're both um, like bubbly. So this was um, the Prosecco from Ocado. It was on offer. Um, so yeah, I thought that would be quite nice. I also popped in some M&S crisps. These are their uh, Christmas turkey and maple syrup hand-cooked crisps. They sounded good festive thought I'd add those in. The last item are some salted caramel flavoured pretzels from Sainsbury's. Um, I haven't tried any of these things so I'm kind of jealous I'm gonna have to stock up for myself but yeah that is pretty much everything I've put in the baskets both of them. This video I'm actually going to wrap them now which I'll show you how I do that. I actually got the clear wrap. I got last year I actually got the wrap from eBay but I actually found these in Wilco and they were cheaper um, so I got the clear wrap I bought two of them they're only a pound each and then they also came um, they also did the the pool bows as well the nice big pool bows so they've got four in there also for a pound from Wilco so yeah I'm going to arrange them then wrap them and show you what they look like when they're done okay, so I've done one already the one thing I would say which what I didn't do is measure your wrap um, last year the wrap that I got from eBay was a lot wider, this is a lot thinner and longer, not necessarily how I planned or wanted to wrap the item, it just made it a lot difficult but um, I still managed to do it, it just means that it's just a little bit more fiddly so I have to like literally wrap it round and usually I just gather it and gape it together which is what I prefer. Um, but as this stuff, as you can see, it just isn't um, that wide. A little bit more difficult, but um, yeah, so I'm gonna crack on and wrap the last one up. Get the ends. 
they come like this. And all you do is get these two ends and then you just pull it really gently. Just don't try not to pull it too far, I've done that before. And then it turns into a bow. And then I literally use these bits just to loop it around and tighten the whole thing couple of times. So I've um, done my tags and wrote in them, they're the ones I have, and I have just made a little loop here and then I just thread it on. Like that. Go around once more. So that is my two hampers complete. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. It's given you some inspiration and I will see you all soon.